Hello everyone, this is the Brother Mark X signing on. Coming at you live on Twitch, so we're going to broadcast on to YouTube. And welcome back to my nice little Resident Evil walkthrough. <laughs> Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to continue off where we've left off at. So now we're going to head upstairs and enjoy a nice little view. Oh my gosh, that's a zombie! You thought about taking it down, Chris? I had plans. Has a zombie ever thought to you? Um, I, I, I don't really know exactly. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, what you're gonna do now is that you're gonna head to this room, which is unlocked. I should have known, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna head this way to the nice little room. Oh wow, this is really <coughs> bothering me. Alright then, so, grab like this nice little old key that's just sitting around like it's nothing. Even though it's really special to its own kind, but yeah, it's fine. Ah, there we go! It's a pretty nice little spot to put like the nice little handy dandy right there. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen. Na, na, na. What you're going to do now is that you're going to take this nice little red herb down here and you're going to mix it. And yay, it's our very first herb combination. Woo! Alright then, then you use, you use your nice little old key. You're going to go to here. Now, this is going to be a very small puzzle. Not really complicated, but just a little bit simple to actually understand, but a little bit time consuming. So what you're going to do now is that you're going to switch spots between two bugs. Pretty much like two different bees or something like that, you know, just, just, just saying. No, not the button yet. So what you gotta do now is that you're gonna head over here. You're gonna nice, take a nice little fish hook and combine the fish hook to the uh, bee's ass. But before I do anything more further, I want to read this nice little, little note. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm ready. Researchers will. There is a letter. June 3rd, 1998. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke. And I already fail. I hope this letter finds you well. And that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away. Lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours to me for me to tell you, and time is short to accept these things as fact. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying. And the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delay the in inevitable. Wow. <clears throat> I'm infected and there is no cure for what will follow. Except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please note that I'm sorry. 
Martin Crackhorn. Okay. Well, that was a nice little dramatic. Wow. I feel sympathy for him. All right, then. So what you're gonna do now is that you're gonna take like this nice little brown bee, bee specimen, and you're going to nice do. Oh my gosh! Just, just take the damn item and put the item into the item slot. Then bring this item to here. <sighs> there. Simple, right? Thank you. But be careful! There is gonna be... Bees! Don't worry, Chris will handle it. Handle it, Chris! Take him down! Alright. Interject him. Get out of here, quick! Alright, good job. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, what you want to do now is head down to like this nice little hallway and you're going to enter a nice little room. A little bit complicated puzzle, but I think it'll be easier to solve. I hope. The armor key! This is where you're going to get your very first mask if you follow my walkthrough. This looks very complicated. Alright then. What's inside the box, Daddy? A mysterious box appears. What shall you do now? Oh, nice curve. All right then. All right then. After you acquire your very first mask, what you want to do now is head back out to the nice little hallway. Excuse me, jeez. Head down here and use your armor key to this nice little door. But not yet. Head down to here. And just enjoy the point of view of enjoying this nice little scene. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen. So, now we're going to think where to now go to now. Hmm. Let's see, I have like a lot of nice unique items. So, now we're going to head back to the nice little... Actually, yes, we're going to head back to the nice little safe box. Safe box, save room, whatsoever. I'm gonna put all the items into the suitcase, and all we're gonna have is just mainly nothing. Nothing at all. Just nothing. You just get over to the curtains. Oh my gosh! The zombie's in the way! No! It's not the nice time to use this nice little key thing. You know what I'm nice to use for? Right now is a damn shotgun! Hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey. You, you, you kind of deserve that a little bit. I'm like, you know, you're just not, not, not really fair at anything at all. I mean, like, oh, 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 geez. Oh, wow, okay. That's got to hurt. Okay. So, what you're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is... Right. 
put your nice little items in here. Put your nice little first mask right there. And pretty much that, you're just gonna leave that. No, 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 you're, you're gonna need to have that key. Yes, you're gonna need to have that nice little key. No need for the key. Alright then, so for like this part, you're going to need to do some figuring puzzlings. So we're going to change this color to orange over here. And pretty much that, what we're going to do over here is that we're going to change this into a nice little greenish. And then we're going to turn this nice little over here to a nice little purple. And if you do the combination right, hater. Of course, of course. I don't like the way how the crow sounds. You just sound so evil. Oh my gosh, that's not really fair. I gotta go to like this complicated hallway. Don't ask how, but that's fine. What you're going to go down here is that you're going to have a nice little sanctuary of nice little green herbs. Remember how I was saying about the rule of not going through the hallway because you may encounter some few nice dogs? Well, I'm going to do that anyway. It's just to make a little nice little shortcut and also not take much damage. But that's fine, ladies and gentlemen. Hi there. Hey, it's not really fair. You're so fast than me. You damn dogs. Ugh. That's not why yet I take damage by having my fingers being tear apart. There are just a few things that they should have kept for the nice little <clears throat> zombies dogs. Sorry about that. Apparently, my little nice little video thing kind of froze. Not really froze, but more of like kind of. I don't really know how to really explain it. Alright, so what you want to do now is pretty much that you want to put the nice little fertilizer, whatever the hell this thing is. <sighs> and then you're going to choose either two things you're going to pick either red or green. Let's pick green. No, no. Green actually kills all the herbs on like the nice little side, which would be a nice little combination for your like little collection. What would you <coughs> Jeez, don't die. Take the nice little herb stash. 
And whatever herbs you have left in your slot, you can use it to heal yourself, just like me. Unless you haven't taken any damage yet, but that's fine. Oh no, I forgot, I have no more space. Oh, that's fine. Of course, there's always one waiting for you upstairs. Cause you're just defenseless. Sometimes you just gotta wait for the zombie to pass by, you know? Aisha, no! Yeah, let's just, just enjoy over here. We're just gonna go... Take the nice little shortcut and pretty much that. I love space. <sighs> Not pretty much that. What you're gonna do now is that we're finally going to encounter Richard Aikens, part of Bravo Team. Well, he was part of Bravo Team until he got a, got attacked by a giant poisonous snake. It was a poisonous snake. Ouch. Should have done that like a long time ago. Da da da. <laughs> ah. Me and my dogs. Although, is that even though I actually really do enjoy Chris's campaign a lot more than Jill's, I actually do much better on Jill's side. Of the campaign for some apparent reason must be a reason why but that's that's just the way it is you chris redfield alpha team we're here to rescue you richard what the hell happened to you chris this place Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. That's nice to know. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. 
All right then, so pretty much that you're going to go to the nice little safe room on the other side where um, there's so many glass broken areas, but I'll just show it to you ladies and gentlemen. So just follow my direction back to like this nice little area. Don't worry, Richard. I'll save you. Also, the thing is that you're also being timed secretly. The game doesn't really tell you, but you're actually being timed. If I remember right, I think like the good time process is actually like, about a good five minutes process, I think. Oh no! Kind of pretty cool and yeah, anti climatic, but okay. Oh. <sighs> Stress, stress just pulls in. Time being, too, is that, you know, even though that Chris's campaign is pretty much a, somewhat of challenging, I still have fun with it. I actually feel like that's actually more fun than Jill's campaign. Of course, that Jill's campaign is more simple and actually, you know, pretty easy to actually understand, but, you know, still. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. Mm. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Thanks. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. Richard. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. <coughs> Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Yes, I understand. Now let's go back to a secret, secret, secret scene. It's also a good way to actually get yourself a free kill. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Mm, yes, definitely. Yeah, would you? I want to kind of where the, she is treating. Not nah, just kidding. <clears throat> Thanks. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? 
They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here, homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. Understand, yes. Understood. All right then, ladies and gentlemen. So pretty much that I just want to say out now that um, Chris is pretty much my favorite main character. And actually, my favorite female character, and also I have like a small bit crush on her, is actually Rebecca Chambers. And I, I for some apparent reason, for some apparent reason, I actually just do like her. But you know, everyone has different tastes. You know, you know, I respect other people's tastes. Wow, I should have done the scene a long time ago. Wow. Turn around as I get a little bit alone. I'm just kidding. Alright, so now you're gonna get like a nice little free shotgun shells. Turn around right now. All right, so we're gonna go to a little bit of a good secret story that, of course, the original had some few broken grammars right there, but it's still a classic to actually read. But they kind of changed it around in this, you know, idea over here. But I still like it. I still like the story idea. Of course, they changed it a little bit, but that's fine. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. May 10th, 1998. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looked like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it. Tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually e started eating. May 11th, 1998. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. Scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told, told me to put it on. Said there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep even on holiday. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny. So I decided not to feed them t today. Screw them. May 13th, 1998. Went to the infirmary because my back is swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th, 1998. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them. The last three days, if anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998. Rumor is going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and piece of rotten flesh just had dropped off of me. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st, 1998. Itchy, itchy. Scott came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four, itchy, tasty. Mmm, yes, I see, I see. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh my god. You should have shot the damn shotgun, Chris! Damn it, Chris! You never pay attention! What the hell? A shotgun didn't do a damn thing? Wow!
talk about anti-climatic, jeez. Yeah, the shotgun in this game is kind of weird to do. The original is oof, so easy. Just aim in, the, aim in the head and just does instant headshot to them. No matter what angle you do, even if the shotgun is actually aim off their heads on the original game, you can still get a headshot off of them. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Brother Mike X signing off. And remember, this is our business. It's life itself. And bye-bye! <laughs>